here with the former sharpshooter Mitch Ballack, of course, coming back to Creighton as a grad assistant. Mitch, what went into that decision to come back as a Blue Jay? Uh, honestly, it was I spent about a week trying to figure out if I wanted to make it happen. Um, I was in between still playing and coming back here and, and being a part of this. Uh, a lot of just leaving is tough. I mean, being by myself overseas is tough. Uh, my body was starting to hurt a little more than it used to when I had the resources here. So I just kind of flipped my, I don't know, career path to coaching and just to be in the gym with these guys and, and kind of give them an opportunity and kind of help them get to the levels that I never reached. So I've been having, some fun. I've, I've been having fun with it so far and it's, yeah, I like the, the switch. We've got a little taste of the practices so far in the early preseason, but what do you hope to pass down to these guys most? Yeah, honestly, just knowledge and, and kind of what sometimes I see. I see things a little differently sometimes being a former player, being in those situations um, that they're going to be in a lot this year. Um, so if I can just it's a little different coming from me, from a guy that's that's been there. I'm 25 years old instead of like an assistant coach or something. You can kind of talk to him a little different. Um, it's kind of more of like a, a respectful, maybe like a friend a little bit. Um, but you, you can get through to somebody a little different. So if I can just show them things, little things here and there um, that will make each of them better, um, that's kind of what I'm trying to bring to the table and that's kind of what I'm looking forward to helping them out with. Yeah, you're not too far removed from Creighton, of course, and you played with Ryan Kalkbrenner. Yep. How have you seen him grow because he's just shined so much? Yep, uh, honestly, a lot of the work and the progression that he has been a part of is just in the weight room and Jeremy, Coach Anderson's done an unreal job with him in the weight room uh, when he was a freshman and I was a senior, he was, his body wasn't developed. He was still was trying to figure it out. You know, when you come in at 19, 18, 19 years old, it's tough to figure out the game. The game's fast. It's, it's a lot more physical than what you're used to in high school. But he's really took it upon himself and like really made, put, some, put a lot of emphasis on, on the weight room and just building that strength. I think he's like 260, 65 pounds. He, it's, he's a lot harder to move. I was, I was working with him the other day and he, he like kind of hit, knocked me off my spot. I was like, dang, right, he got a, lot, a little stronger than when you were with me. Um, little stuff like that, like he can move people now. He's a lot more physical, a lot more mature um, in the growth, and that's what that's what Creighton's all about. That's what Coach Mack is great at, and his staff's good at developing players and kind of getting them to that level. So it's fun to watch the player that he's turned into, and it was. Uh, I'm glad he's still not the same player that he was when he was a freshman. So And getting reps is, is huge. So. He's benefited from that. Yeah, I want to talk about last season a little bit too. Of course, the Elite Eight run. It was a historic day for Creighton basketball and then ends in a heartbreaker. I'm sure you remember exactly where you were watching that yep. play. But when you think back to last year, what can translate so well for this team? A couple new pieces coming in, but a lot of returners. Yep. Uh, like you said, I mean, honestly, it's experience. Uh, getting over the hump is sometimes the hardest part. And once you do that, then the, the pieces start to – Start start to pull together, and you start to fill in those those missing gaps. Like you said, I mean, we brought in Stephen Ashworth. That's a good good distributor. I think he's a really good passer, and he can score at all three levels. Um, like that's that's beneficial at the at the point spot. Um, and bringing in other guys like it transferred and, and Jason redshirted last year. Like all those people are going to have to figure it out, gel together, and even I mean Mason coming back. Mason's been in the system. This is third year. Like. Having multiple guys you can turn to at different positions is, is, is huge and with that experience and then implementing the right pieces that you need that you were missing from last year to maybe get over that hump and get to a Final Four or maybe get to a national championship. Obviously, that's the goal. That's everybody's goal. Everybody wants to win a national championship, but it starts right now and you got to put the pieces together to do so. And I think we're in a good position whatever day it is and, and we make it work. So. Yeah. Has anything stood out to you in these early practices? Uh, honestly, the pace. Uh, when I first got here, the teams were all split up, but now we're starting to see a little bit of the the first five together a little more. Um, the pace has been really good. Um, I played on some teams that didn't have such a good pace, and teams that did have good pace. And, and when you're when you're playing together, and when it, when the ball's on a string, and you really like fit well together, um, that's when you start to see the challenges for other defenses to guard you. I mean, we have a lot of mismatches that we're going to exploit this year, and a lot of like mismatches that we're going to take advantage of just because of the the difference the, like the differences of abilities of, of guys on the team and I think we have like we have no weaknesses on the offensive end and then if we pull that together on the defensive end we have a really a few really good by themselves on ball defenders and then we have a couple guys that can bring the rest of the team together with leadership and everything else so I think it's gonna be fun to watch on both sides of the floor yeah well the season's quickly approaching I want to take you back to your playing days any memories come back when you roll up back up to Creighton University um, honestly, just the people. Like, and the, the turnover. There's been a little turnover with the with the coaching staff and everything, but 
other than that, like the culture is still as, as solid as it was when I was here. Um, but just coming back and being in that environment, um, it's great to be a part of. It's great to see some familiar faces and see how I can kind of fit into the fit into what we got going on here to try and get to that ultimate goal of winning some games. Um, from a basketball perspective, probably just, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't been back in CHI for games for, I didn't go last year, but I went the year before. So um, I'm excited to just see the fans, uh, the atmosphere, the just the, the energy in the arena when, when games come. So I'm looking forward to that, um, but that's about it, so. Yeah. Most season tickets got sold out too, so it's gonna be pretty rowdy. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Max must be Mac must be putting something together up there. I so. think so. Yeah. Mitch, thanks so much for the time. Can't wait to see you the season. Yep, I appreciate you guys.